Heart failure is a complex syndrome of cardiac ventricular dysfunction where the heart's ability to pump is impaired and can't support the normal physiological circulation. It's not a single pathological diagnosis but a clinical syndrome consisting of cardinal symptoms like breathlessness, ankle edema, swelling, fatigue and may be accompanied by signs like elevated jugular venous pressure, pulmonary crackles and peripheral edema. In today's video, we are going to talk about an important component in the investigations of heart failure and that is chest x-ray findings. For study purposes, I use the mnemonic A, B, C, D, E to remember these findings. A for alveolar edema, B for curly B lines, C for cardiomegaly, D for upper lobe diversion, E for effusions. A and B stands for edema and that's alveolar edema and septal edema. In heart failure, when left heart fails, there's stasis of blood in the left ventricle and this creates an increase in the left ventricle pressure than normal. So it's hard for the blood to flow from the left atrium to the left ventricle. So blood will be pooled in the left system up until the lung vessels. When there's increased pressure in the lung vessels, the fluids will leak out and cause pulmonary edema. This pulmonary edema can manifest in two forms interstitial edema and alveolar edema. Interstitial edema is what we see as septal lines. It's also known as curly B lines. They are the horizontal lines that reach the lung edge and they are caused by thickening of the interlobular septa which separates the secondary lobules at the periphery of the lungs. As the interstitial edema progresses, fluid leaks from the interstitial tissue into the alveoli and small airways. The alveolar shadowing radiates out from the hilar areas forming a bat wings pattern. Fluid leaks into the pleural spaces and cause pleural effusions. C stands for cardiomegaly. If the heart is enlarged, the cardiothoracic ratio will be more than 50%. Also the cardio silhouette will be enlarged. D is for diversion or upper vessel enlargement. Normally the upper zone vessels are smaller than the lower zone vessels. So if the upper vessels become same size or larger, that means there's an increased pulmonary venous pressure. E is for efficiency, and it can be detected in the chest x-ray when the costophrenic angle is blunted. So that's all about the chest x-ray findings in heart failure. I hope you guys learned something today. And if you did, please hit the like button and comment your ideas and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.